Hey guys, it's Maggie and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little bit since I filmed, but honestly, I just haven't had any motivation and that's a very valid answer. Today, I am talking about five weird reading habits that I have and I was thinking about this the other day as I was reading that I have a very specific setup for when I like to read. Also, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking the red button down below. I really wanted to utilize this new room setup that I have going on, which I did for the summer because the air vent is open up there and I can't sleep at night when it's hot. So this will be our setup from now on. I know I said that last time. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into my five weird reading habits. My first weird reading habit, I guess this one isn't too weird because I know a lot of people do this, but I need to have music playing while I'm reading. If I'm in like a public place, if I'm on a train, when do I ever ride a train? Or if I'm at a coffee shop or something, I usually can handle the background noise. But if I'm just in my room by myself, I do like to have one earbud in based on the genre that I'm reading. So if I'm reading Mortal Instruments, for example, I might listen to the film score from the first movie slash only movie. Harry Potter, always, I'm always, always using that film score from that movie. Pretty much any book to movie adaptation except Percy Jackson, because that movie adaptation doesn't exist. If I'm reading Renegades, I'll listen to Marvel or something of that sort, not Endgame, because that'll make me cry. You get the point, basically. So I guess that's not a weird reading habit. It's more so just a general habit I have. The next one is when I like to read. So I like to read in the dark at night in bed with my reading light. That's kind of creepy. I just got a reading light recently which is really nice so I don't have to have my lamp on. That's just too much brightness and the reading bless you. The reading lamp has two different modes so it can be darker or lighter depending on how I'm feeling I guess. I'm trying to use my phone less and less at night which really isn't working because I'll just pick up my phone after I'm done reading. But I'm working on it and I'm trying to get myself ready for bed by reading at least 50 pages before I fall asleep. And since I read really fast, that's in about 20, 25 minutes. So it's really not that bad. Next is another thing that goes with reading at night. I like to have Netflix on. So this is a little different. Usually friends or maybe even Hulu and I'll have Brooklyn Nine-Nine. So there's something on in the background and sometimes I'll even fall asleep in general with Netflix playing at night just to have some noise. If I don't have Netflix on, I actually have a white noise machine that is also a alarm clock. So that's my alarm clock, so I have to get out of bed to turn it off, which is really great because when I was in college, I'd just roll over and turn off my phone and go back to bed. And if I wasn't a dance major and devoted to going to ballet super early, I probably would never have gotten up. Number four is in regard to audiobooks. So I know a lot of booktubers love audiobooks, me included. I like to read them faster than they're read. So I usually read at 2.5 speed slash listen because I just read really fast and I retain a ton of information super quickly. Not academically, that's just a no. But in general, I can retain things super quickly. So if I'm just listening on one or even 1.5, I just sit there and I just zone out and then I'm not paying attention. So I'll usually start between two or 2.5. Sometimes if I'm really into the story, I'll bump it up to three, but never if I'm driving or doing something that could take me away from the story. So if I'm just laying in bed scrolling on my phone at night, which I shouldn't be doing anyway, I have it on three. So I'm still paying attention as I'm scrolling through Instagram. Lastly, I need to have the air conditioning or a fan or something blowing on me. I can't even talk about this one with Jiffy right behind me. So basically what happens is I need to have a fan or AC on or even a window open so I have a nice breeze as I'm reading because otherwise it just doesn't work and I just get hot and stuffy and I'm just miserable. That is it for today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment down below telling me your weird reading habits and I will see you next time. Bye!